so what's the average cholesterol level in the Chamani? The average total cholesterol is 150. And the average in people in modern America is more like 200 plus. Yes, exactly. What's the explanation for that, do you think? What are possible explanations? Well, I think that their exercise and their diet feed into it, but they're I know, a lot of, I know a lot of people are exercising like mad and only eating organic vegetables and their cholesterol is still 200. Exactly. There's some other cause that we need to get put our finger on. And one of our suspicions is that multiple infections around your whole body, especially certain types of infections, need fats for their own um, growth and reproduction, and they suck up the fats that we were going to use for ourselves, and that may be one of the reasons why So is this why bacteria or viruses or worms, or what, what kind of things can actually take up Well, fats? tuberculosis, uh, <clears throat> Leishmania that we talked about earlier, the skin infections, both of those are highly lipophilic, and the intestinal parasites. Hmm. So, I, mean, I know so many people are trying desperately to get their cholesterol down and they can't do it. This might be an answer to why it's so hard, is that they don't have enough infections. This may be part of the story that our body produces cholesterol and uh, we were evolved under conditions in which we were likely to have all these ma organisms sucking up our cholesterol and so our physiology has evolved in relationship to that and you take away those pathogens, perhaps that's a reason. So for living in a clean environment where there aren't nearly as many infections has huge advantages but might also expose us to increased risks of these diseases caused by inflammation. That's right. None of us would rather return to the high infection no. regime, but we may be very well adapted to that, and being in a new environment may have some downsides to it. Are there ways of possibly tricking our bodies to think that they're in those environments so that the lipids get eaten up otherwise or not manufactured otherwise? I think that's a direction that we need to pursue. pursue is what are the signaling processes that the infection uh, stimulates and can we simulate that and might that lead to a different uh, immune profile that ultimately could reduce risk of heart disease.